We are not going to be using the computer screens at all today. But you can you can use them if you want. You have five different inputs, right? Five different ports. Some of you will be input. There's A, B, and so on. It's a hard drive. It's a separate part from the rest. Right? Yeah. Oh, and then there's S and R. You're going to need the hard drive. I want people to understand where the hard drive, where the memory is. The idea is that we are going to divide this class in parts. In computers, there are parts. So I'm going to identify people to do different parts. So the people in the memory here, uh, you actually have to work out what your data is. Each of you is a little cell of memory. OK. Don't be scared. <laughs> OK. How do you add 1 to FA? Maybe you don't. Yeah, you do plus one, but you can't, the thing is you can't do this. You're a control unit, you have no brain. You have a brain, but you shouldn't. <laughs> Forget about your brain. So I'm going to ask Josh what is the next instruction. What is the first, and then what is the next, and so on. Whenever we start here, jump back to step one. Read the code for the next can you ask them? Here you have to take the value of f1, take the value of f0, add them, get the value back and put it in. So only look at your address here, know what is your initial value, write it down as hexadecimal on a paper, keep the paper really tight because people are going to ask you over and over again, they're going to change your value. You're like, you remember when you say move 1 to a, your a, your b, your c, it's that kind of thing. So if A forgets his A and thinks he's C, it's going to be a total mess. Is that all right? I'm going to double check what's going on. So the new instruction we have here is move 1 to F1. We here, don't forget step 3. Increment the program counter so it points to the next instruction. So that's what we did here. We read data. We read F1, F0. We provide the data to the arithmetic uh, unit that says they add them, gives you the result, write back the data in memory. So we've done this. We are at 7. We jump back to read the code for the next instruction. The next instruction is... OK, knock, knock. <laughs> so you just put it there. Let's see. Good job. Thanks a lot.